Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's boy Bosby here, back at again with another review. And I just got done doing the DC Multiverse Dark Flash figure from the Flash movie, so if you guys haven't, go check that video out right now. We have another DC Multiverse figure. I told you guys I had a lot of figures stashed away before my issue. But anyway, so today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse um, Gold Label figure Vampire Superman. Yeah, even though it just says Superman there, it doesn't say very vampire, but... Eh, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is from the Gold Label series, I guess. Or the Gold Label Collection, I don't know what the fuck, but... I, I'm guessing it's Gold Collection. Um, anyway, uh, the, yeah, the figure looks super cool, so let's go ahead and check out the box. As we can see, we got the DC Multiverse logo right there, Superman down there. Uh, Superman, I think, uh, I don't know what this means right here, 85 anniversary, I think? I don't know. Uh, we got the 12 ages, uh, 12 ages and up right there. My fallen toys right there. 22 moving parts. Out of the package, we get another Superman 85 thing. Superman DC versus vampires. Whoopsie. My bad. Out of the package, we get DC multiverse Superman. Uh, that thing right there. That barcode, if you guys want to scan it. Back of the package, we get a nice photo artwork for the zombie superman and you can see the the bite mark right there this looks really cool he looks like a bat look at his nose obviously because he's a vampire so what gives so um yeah um anyway uh yeah and one thing i like to discuss is that uh i did buy this at walmart but look look at the box it's broken through now i bought this at walmart right so, it's because I don't know how that happened, because when I found this, the, the box was, like, perfectly good. And when I went to go up in the cash register, and I put it, and I and I went in my car, um, I just fucking, I don't know, I just found it like this. It, maybe because I dropped it, I mean, to be honest, I did, ended, I did end up dropping it when I was, like, into the cash register. I was holding it, and boom, it fell. So, I think that's how it happened. But, uh, I don't know. Um... I don't know how that happened. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get this guy open. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box and see how good of a scary vampire he is. I mean, besides, we're getting, like, we're in September. We're almost to Halloween. So I guess this is a good addition to review this guy. So yeah, let's go ahead and bust it open. And here we got the vampire superman out of the packaging and i'm sorry that i had to pause at the last second because the fucking thing was hard to get out because obviously the cape has to be stuck on the back doesn't it like literally like let me just show you guys real quick look how scratched look how scratched the cape is i mean i know you guys can probably see let me just zoom in a little bit look how scratched the cape is like what the fuck cunt who needs to get fired? Like literally, who the fuck decides to package their figures like that? Like that way? I mean, I'm assuming Todd, but I mean, nah. The cape's all fucked up now. It's impossible to get this guy out of the packaging without ruining the cape. But anyway, 
So yeah, uh, yeah, we got the figure out the packaging. So let's go ahead and check out. As first and foremost, let's go ahead and check out the card. So this is the beloved card that the uh, Vampire Superman comes with. You can see the same pictures as we saw. Back the package. If you guys want to pause that. There we go. And we also got the two. He also comes with interchangeable fisted hands, which are really, I'm really glad that they included these with the Superman. And he just fucking fell. Because he almost never falls, but I don't know, he's got to balance the feet somewhat. Well, there we go. Please stand. And of course, he comes with the classic DC Multiverse display stand. So yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and check out the figure. So, this figure... He looks really cool, by the way. It kind of looks like a zombie. Like a zombie Superman. But it's a vampire, so I really like the details on this figure. The The sculpting is very nice. Obviously, um... On the face... Let me just zoom in here real quick. The face, I really like the face. I really like the the, the red eyes that they gave him. Just it, it makes him look way deadlier. I really like that grayish skin, like more like a zombieish skin that they gave him. You got the you know vampire bat ears, the nose. Can, it kind of looks like it kind of reminds me of Morbius, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of reminds me of, of Morbius just a little bit. Um, you can see he's got the the blood right there. You can, and 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 I really like how they added the the holes right there to represent the bite mark. I really like how they done that. And they also added the blood right there too, so it's a nice, uh, neat little thing. And there's the blood on the mouth. It kind of looks like real blood, doesn't it? Just a little bit. It looks like real blood, but it's not. It's just paint. But it, it, it still adds a really nice touch. The teeth are well sculpted. The mouth is just phenomenally sculpted in. A really nice. I do really dig that detail. Really nice how they sculpted in the mouth. I really am glad for how they did it. And the suit... Looks pretty nice as well. They added like this darkish blue purplish color to the suit. And the Superman signals like an orange type color. And you can see the cape. This rubbery cape. Obviously because every Superman has to have one. You can see we have these silver belts. It kind of looks like the... Um, what's it called? The, uh, the Blackest Night Superman, doesn't it? But anyway, uh, super cool. Really like the paints and overall sculpting. The the hands are very, very, very nice uh, sculpted in. You can see he has a nice sharp claws right there on the hands. Really nice. Uh, the This peg doesn't match with the color of this hand, which is kind of silly, but, you know, Superman. Uh, you can see he has a great silver um, belt, belt right there. Moving down, he has kind of like Wonder Woman boots, although they're not actually Wonder Woman's boots, but they're really, you know, silver color, which I really do like these a lot, um, which I really do dig that, and um, this figure is just absolutely amazing. Um, the hair is well sculpted. Really like the hair. Can't wait to get the other vampires. I believe there's a Batman one, isn't there? Because if there is... Or if there's not, then I may be wrong, and you must be. You guys might be screaming me at the comments, but let's just see if I can move his legs like that. It's because his cape makes him kind of top heavy. That's why. But maybe if I just put him in the display stand, he will be. Able, he will be able to stand right. Okay. Anyway, as far as articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It can move left to side right there. It can also move up just a little bit, and it can also move down like so. His arms can move out, they can go forwards and back just a little bit because of the cape. Uh, he has biceps right here. Um, he has a double jointed right here at the elbows. His hands can swivel like that and they can also bend up like that, like so. Um, let me just move his arms up. And his he has a ab crunch right here just a little bit. It can go forwards and like back like that and his waist can move like, like that. Which is pretty cool. Um, this arm, Jesus Christ! Why does every DC multiverse figure that I buy always have to have loose arms? Like this one's loose, but this one has like a like this arm can crunch, and this arm just like slides. Look, look how loose that shit is. It's fucking disappointing, dude. Am I ever gonna fucking get a figure that doesn't have loose arms, cunt? Shit. 
anyway, um, the legs can move like that. They can't move side to side. They can, they can move out like that. Can kind of move out forwards and backs like so. He has double jointed knees like that, and his legs can. I mean, his foot can go down, up like that, and swivel side to side. And he has an ankle pivot right here, which yeah. You could just, you know, have him in his iconic Superman pose, even though he's a fucking vampire, you know. It's the best that you can do it. Let me see if I can get this guy to get in a cool pose. Let me see if we can do that. Son of a bitch. God damn it. It's because you have to play with the figures just a little bit before you pose them. Because, you know, they get warped in the package. Just So you have to kind of play with them a little bit. Let me just bend this foot just a little bit forward like that. Let me see if I can... Son of a bitch. Alright, I'm just going to pose them like that. But I need to get him in like a cool vampire pose. Maybe like that? Nah, he kind of looks kind of dumb actually. Look at that, look look how he falls. It's because of the cape, isn't it? And there we go. But I guess that's the best way to do it. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, that's the, uh, Vampire Superman review, although it's really short, it's like only 11 minutes long. But I did, but the, I did really like the sculpting that they did to his face, it just gives him more like a phenomenal vampire look. It just, damn it, look at that shit, it's perfect for Halloween this year, shit. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, that was the, uh, Vampire Superman from DC Multiverse. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was it. So, yeah, that was the review. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys submit a new video every time it comes out. Share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.